look at how cool this is if you walk into a room with an envelope camera system you've got a built-in smart light lights up the room and of course while it's recording you get full color recordings because the light is illuminating the recording so cool Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Today I want to do a little follow-up video on the camera quality by Onwoat. And you know, I just purchased their Onwoat NVR system recently and hooked it up around my household. And I've, I'm very impressed. And I wanted to share with you the quality of the cameras that you get from Onwoat if you decide to go with them. Now their cameras are all POE cameras and you can get some that are stationary or that are pan and tilt where you can move them like I have here. This is an actual on woke camera up here in the corner and that's a 4K pan and tilt model with PoE. So one wire goes to it and powers it and sends the data back through the same wire. So I already had my house wired right after we moved in and these were very easy to put up if you watched the original video. So we're gonna look at some of the picture quality, video quality we get from that camera and several other cameras. So I've got another on woke camera right here behind me. <clears throat> if you look up here in this corner, that's an on woke 4K camera as well, which is eight megapixels. And I'm telling you, once you get over say five, four or five megapixel cameras, you're not gonna be able to really tell the difference unless you're gonna wanna zoom in on a license plate or something. But these, uh, the eight megapixel 4K cameras, I'm having very good experiences with them and that's the on what brand as well you can see it looks a little bit different but that one the magic behind that on what camera is it's got auto tracking so we've got it monitoring our front gate here and traffic coming in here anybody getting out of a car walking in through here that camera will follow and track them all around until they get out of the picture and uh I also got one in my garage. I'll show you that one. That's a stationary on woke camera. And that is a, that's a six megapixel. And when we see the pictures of inside the garage, you'll see that the quality is just so crisp and clear. It looks like 4K. And if you don't have a 4K monitor, you're not gonna notice the difference anyway. So I got one in my garage that's stationary. And then I got a second, uh, 4k one that's like the front door one out on the rear back porch patio screen area so we're just going to check those few out today and uh, see if i can help you make a decision on what type of poe camera or nvr system you might want for your household or small business stick around All right, and we're back. And before we get started on the camera quality video portion of this, I wanted to show you all the different ways that I've discovered how to monitor my security camera system 
around our household. So if we come in here, I'm going to flip you around. This is my closet from the bedroom. This is the Onwoke NVR system right here. Very quiet compared to my desktop computer that was running Blue Iris. And what I've got here is a HDMI Wi-Fi extender. So HDMI cord uh, that runs out of the Onwoke right here, out of the back, goes up into this first HDMI extender and notice it's got the antennas on here and then I've also got another HDMI extender connected to the output on this one so this is sending to one monitor out in our bedroom here and this is sending to another two monitors so this one can handle I believe up to four to six monitors uh, you know hundreds of feet apart or away from this base so I've got two bases here. So the first base actually projects out here. So I have no physical cord running out here. See, there's the second half of it. That's the receiver part of the wireless HDMI. And that HDMI cable uh, runs from that Wi-Fi box into the back of this TV to HDMI import in, input one. And I can control it from here because I saw no need to have a wasted monitor in here just to set it up and control it. So I've got a Bluetooth uh, wire right here, actually USB that runs up around here and it's on an extension. And then I've got Bluetooth mice to control it at the different monitors. I'm trying to get it closer, you see here, from actually right here. And I put an adapter on it so I can uh, control it from several different locations. So if you're following me, we got that one there, that monitor there. We've got this monitor right here. This is a telescoping TV that I built and this can go down into the fireplace or come up. We usually leave it up during the day because we have no front windows. So this really helps us as security system see what's happening out on the front side of our house. Or anywhere around the house so we like this system right here and then also with this Android unit I built in over here we've got another little quick option this is another video I did but we installed the guard viewer app right here on our Android this is kind of like a tablet but it's built into our wall and if you just pull up their app there's all our cameras. So if we want to inspect a package out front, if the package was dropped off, we just double click on the, on the video we need to see close up. Oh, there's somebody here. So that's how that one works, which is awesome. And then if we go around this way. We still have yet another monitor in my office so I got the monitor right there in the office now just like I told you this one has a receiver HDMI receiver right here if you can see that with antennas uh, so that's collecting the uh, HDMI video capture from my bedroom closet And then also I can pull it up on my desktop home screen here with the uh, guard station viewer app. So all kinds of ways. All right, of course, there's also the other method you can use, which I use all the time when I'm away from the home. And that's with the guard viewer app on my smartphone. If I open that up quickly, the cameras populate. You can also turn it to get larger views of the cameras. So very happy with the system as you can tell. So now let's dive into the cameras and see the quality we get through our recordings. All right, and we're back and we're at my desktop and we're using the guard station viewer here on Windows application. And this is what I like to uh, quickly look at and review recordings with the Onwoke 
NVR system and cameras uh, when I'm sitting here uh, doing work in my office. It's the easiest way to gain access to your cameras. Uh, once you get them all set up, you have to, you log in and you get this instant uh, live view right here. The first camera I want to take a look at with you guys is the front door camera. If I double click on this, and we're just going to take a look at some live views right now. Right now it is live, and this is the um, Onwote POE Pan and Tilt. This is a 4K camera by Onwote. It's got built-in LEDs for lighting and infrared at night to help uh, with its performance in gathering a good video quality for you. So this is the one we're looking at. It's at the front of my house, as you can see it here. Now, this is current live view uh, Wednesday today. Make sure uh, when you're on the camera view, sometimes if you're, if I double click here and you're on this view, you're getting the sub. If you look at right here, this is the uh, sub video, which is sub quality. It's not the main quality. So this is like a, a 720 resolution right here on all these. So I'm double clicking here and usually, not all the time, but usually now if you roll down to the bottom of the picture here, this is the main. So this is a 3840 by 2160. This is 4K quality. So this is the Onwote 4K camera. So we can do some different things here. Of course, if you go down here, click on this kind of magnifying glass and a plus sign press that and it turns red right there now we can actually scroll our mouse wheel in and digitally zoom right there is my uh, lizard front door doorbell right there and you can actually grab the picture once you've zoomed in and you can move around and then scroll back out wherever you want to go within the picture so you notice as you zoom in you know you're, you're getting digital zoom it's not optical zoom so the quality is going to diminish a little bit but I mean look at that crisp clear picture uh, as it is right now now we can uh, see I got this open but down here here's your pan and tilt on the bottom left press that once and it opens up your pan and tilt uh, panel right here and if I press this I can scroll over see I like having uh, certain areas of my home uh, it makes sense for a pan and tilt camera like here so if I've got people working in the yard landscaping or something I need to keep an eye on them make sure they trim a certain tree or something uh, if not maybe I can go out there and talk to them so this is we still got our uh, digital zoom on so we could zoom all the way down here if something's happening at the neighbor's house look at that that driveway their driveway is pretty good distance away from us as you can tell when you zoom back out and we'll go over to the left a little more and where this camera is situated it's on a corner so on corners sometimes it makes sense to have a pan and tilt camera and this is the 4K model by Onwote. I could zoom in here if somebody's at our gate call box right there. But of course, I've got another camera over here right at the gate pointing down on the other corner of our house. So it wouldn't make sense to use this one. But you could. And let me see if I go see if my quick saves work select door and then this arrow button to go back to the door and then I could go to say yard and select this arrow and it will go to the yard setting so that comes in pretty handy go back to the door all right so that's the live view of the Onwote 4k pan and tilt poe camera All right, let's go back into the front door here. And we wanna to go to actually playback. At the top here, 
go to playback and let's look at some of these recordings that I've uh, made notes on on the front door just so you can see what type of quality you're going to get for recordings so I'm going to go ahead there's our front door I want to go to December 7th and select it on the uh, date calendar here and do search actually I think you got to choose all your cameras and then search and double click front door and now here's our front door 24 7 recording now I have all of my cameras all 16 channels on the MBR from Onwoke they're recording all camera views 24 7 so if you go in here see this is a standard definition right here if you right click you can go to playback mode and switch to high definition so now you see the difference in quality I'm going to go back to standard. So it uses standard definition uh, so it can play back all camera views on the screen at once without, you know, bogging down your system. But if you're looking at, uh, you want to review a recording, switch it to high definition. And I apologize, this high definition is actually 1080. I didn't know I had this on 1080, but later in the video I'll have this at the 4k quality but even at 1080 I mean the crisp colors and everything uh, the definition of the video and picture really stands out so I'm gonna go here at I think it was at 1209 see on the scroll wheel at the bottom and I can use my scroll wheel on my mouse to kind of enlarge it or you know make it smaller in size the timeline so I'm on the timeline here and I'm gonna actually make this picture bigger here there we go it's more in perspective and we want to go to package delivery at 1209 I made note so I'm gonna click on 1209 and this is in playback at one time speed if you see here this is one times we could switch it to two times speed all the way up to 16 so there's our package delivery switch that back to one time I can pause it here now I can digitally zoom here see I see a package delivery looks like maybe FedEx let's see if we can tell I do my zoom button there and now I can scroll in now remember this is 1080 that I've been recording here so we can't get really good detail on his shirt but I think that's a Walmart delivery it looks like a Walmart box And then we can actually go ahead and hit the play button again and continue on. Now I've got another recording at 1210. Looks like my dad's coming out the door. He sees the package. And we can zoom in, see? Good way to keep in and track with what's happening around your house in case there was an accident somebody slipped and fell or something you've got that documented with your detailed camera views and recordings from your uh, NBR system <clears throat> and we can speed that up right here see how that speeds up there's eight times the speed all right Let's see, I got another recording at 12.49 here, same day, that we can look at. I'll go to 12.49. Uh, we go right about here. Okay. Whoops. Let's go back. We had it fast. Twelve forty nine. Looks like, looks like my dad's taking off here. He's leaving somewhere. Now, if you know the people that come to your house regularly, you're going to know that's a pretty good quality to determine who that is. So let's, I think I got a nighttime package delivery we can look at as well. So I'm going to go to November 25th. search whoops let's check my cameras 
November 25th, search. That's the gate we want the front door. And make sure down here you're on uh, the right month you want. And I got it 1902. So let's go to 1902. We can scroll this to make this larger. The timeline, make that larger. Also, wait, we're on standard definition. I'm going to right click, playback mode, HD. So we get the crisp, clear picture. And look, when you go to HD mode, sometimes it'll show like events. It'll mark them. So I'm going to go here. Let's go right here. See, we have a delivery being made right here. We can do digital zoom. And we got some package delivered at night. So see, if you have lights that come on, on motion sensor out there, you can actually, it'll change it to color mode. All right, this section, we're gonna look at the gate camera. This is the on vote. I'm gonna pull this one up right here in live view, double click. And this is our 4K on vote gate camera. Now, this is the picture of it. Notice the face is black on this one. It's a pan and tilt 4K model by Onwoke. But this one, the magic happens on this one. This has auto tracking for people. People auto tracking. Not for cars, but for people it does. And it works pretty darn well, as we're going to see here in this little review here of the Onwoke PTZ with auto tracking. <clears throat> now, here's the picture. Remember, make sure it's on main, and it is. And sometimes. This bugs me just a little bit. Sometimes it looks like it's out of focus, and that's because it did an auto tracking recently. But once something else comes into that picture that's moving, it's going to focus automatically. Um, let's see, let's close this control out and just look at this. Now I'm going to I'm going to right click here and go to stream type and change it to sub. See, that's really blurry there. Now I'm, see how it's kind of picking up movement from the cars it lets you know with the little highlighted red squares and I'm gonna switch to stream type switch it back to main roll down the bottom it is on main now 4k let's open up our pan and tilt down here on the bottom left and it opens up our gate cam control right here I can do right click on right to go right trying to go right okay there we go and see our lamp post is broke an uber driver backed into it months ago we're still waiting for the top lamp to be replaced and I can digitally zoom in here now this has a, an optical zoom as well so I think optical zoom is right here we do plus yeah so this is optical zoom and see how it's starting to focus on different things when you do the optical zoom. This has got 20 times optical zoom. I could see very clearly the gate across the street. Now I think it, it just tracked something. I'm going to zoom back out. That auto tracking is pretty impressive. We're just testing out the live features here right now, but I'm going to show you some playback modes as well. And let me make sure I'm zoomed back out. Let's see, I got a preset one. I'm going to go to that. And it went back to our gate. See how now it focused really good now. Now, if I scroll in here, digital zoom, now I can read this stuff pretty good. The warning sign. The Viking on the uh, gate motor. I see my Eufy cam right here, solar Eufy cam. I got the solar panel, two solar panels up here for our Christmas lights that I put out on our gate for the holiday season. All right, uh, one other thing. Let's see, let's go over this way. See what other presets I have already made. Go to preset three. I can see if the neighbors are home. And I can do right down here by pressing this, 
I can do digital zoom to go in real quickly with my scroll wheel. Or, like I showed you before, we can do optical zoom right here. Oops, go plus optical zoom. Then you get the detail. Look at that. It's trying to focus right into those pavers. Whoops. I drew a box. So, let's see. It looks like I can't move it if I'm in optical zoom. It's gonna, When you do optical zoom, it's. it looks like it's... Let me see if I switch to this. Yeah. So, optical zoom is going to keep centered and zoom in on whatever's in the center of the screen. So I'm going to back out of here in optical zoom. See, I'm still learning with this on woke system and their cameras. There's so many things that, uh, whoops. I want to see if I can get the car in the middle of the picture somehow. And I noticed the... The side buttons don't work, only the diagonal buttons. I don't know if this is something to do with the software, because it did work with my other camera, the front door one. So on what if they're watching, guys, fix this. See, I'm holding up, down, and sideways. They don't work, but if I do diagonal, it works. All right, now it looks like we're kind of centered in here. I'm going to do optical zoom now on the neighbor's car. Look at that. If they were sitting in a car, I could tell who it is sitting in the car. Zoom out and notice how the, the lens does the autofocus when you do the optical zooming. I'm not doing any of that focus. It's doing that by itself. So I'll zoom back out, and let's see, let's go down this way. All right, so I can only use my diagonal buttons. So you can see the rest of my driveway back here to the house. And we could go to preset one again, and hit the arrow to go to preset one. And then we're back at the gate. Looks like it's focusing. Looks like it's kind of having a hard time focusing. Here's focus right here. But it will auto do it on the next move it, movement in front of the camera, just to let you know. Now there we go. It will auto focus by itself. And you'll see that in the recordings that we go through next. So. This is a little bit of the live, how it operates, how it looks. And next we'll review the playbacks and the auto tracking, how that works. All right, and we're back. Let's do uh, the front gate camera. We're gonna uh, review some playback footage. So I'm gonna switch to here. Let's switch it to nine camera views. Select our cameras right here. Let's check mark it. Oops, there we go. And let's see, the first test I have is on December 1st. Select December 1st, select search in the calendar view right here. And it's the gate we're looking at. I'm going to double click on this to enlarge it. And I'm going to enlarge it this way. And see, we're on standard definition. So I'm going to go ahead and right click playback mode HD. Now we've got HD quality. When I switched to HD, notice I got events here that are highlighted in red on our timeline. And I can scroll my mouse wheel up or down to enlarge the timeline. And the first sample I have here is at 1745. Let's go to 1745. Right here. And we should be able to see the auto tracking work. We're in one time speed, original speed. We're at 17.45, something should be happening. Oh, there it is. There's a dog walker. Now watch the tracking zone. See it? 
picks up somebody and that's impressive through the actual gate and fence it's picking up a person walking and the dog but you see the highlight is around the person so it's following the person it tracked in on the person and it does auto zoom as well which is really impressive I like that all the way down the sidewalk there and then it will you know sometimes at the end it will kind of lose them because it'll focus on to something else that's closer like our tile on our house there but if you watch this it'll stay there for a few seconds after it loses the auto tracking motion and then it will return home to its home setting right here so you don't have to worry if you go back to your cameras like oh now somebody's moved it or it's auto tracked to a different position it will always return back to the home position that you set which is directly at my front driveway and gate system so i got another one a night dog walker 1839 so let's scroll here let's stop this i'm going to go to 1839 and this is going to be in the evening now i think so we can see how it does on tracking during the evening okay and we are on high definition right here we can tell and something should be coming up here I believe another dog walker in the evening and it's pretty good quality now you get some glare a little bit from these really bright lights on the posts here and out there here we go Coming from the left, there's a dog walker. And the auto tracking should start focusing in and notice that it's a person beyond the gate there. There we go. So what, what I can do here, if I stop this, oops, maybe I should have paused it and go back. Now, if I pause this right here, okay, if you're going in playback mode, you want to try to determine who that was, you can do digital zoom right here and use your scroll wheel. And you, can, you can see somebody wearing a cap with a ponytail. And you can actually continue play. And you can see them while you digitally zoom there. And let's see how far it, it, it attracts this person and doggy. It doesn't even lose it beyond the light there on the post. So, I think that's impressive. What do you guys think so far? Now I've got, uh, I want to show you a couple of the uh, this one right here of course let me show you again this was the on woke 4k with active tracking or motion tracking right here now I'm gonna leave the links to these cameras in the video description below this video in case you're interested now the next one we're gonna take a look at is this one it's in my garage and I have a few in in and around the house and this one's got built-in lights here so you all, it's like you have a built-in smart light because it picks up on motion sensing in front of it at, in the evening. It'll throw them lights on. So it's like having a built-in smart light in your room or wherever you put this camera. And then when those lights come on, then you get color recordings as well because then your recording is lit up. So let's go see a few of that camera, a few views of that camera see how that looks all right now we're going to take a look at the on -woke. these are the six megapixel stationary poe cameras <clears throat> i say stationary now when you mount them you can turn and twist them and angle them to whatever angle you need to capture most of the room or area you're trying to keep recorded and monitor so these are once you get over say four megapixels you're not going to need much more than that unless you're trying to read a license plate or something 
the quality over four megapixel is just so crisp and clear and colorful with these cameras now they do make four megapixel ones on these as well but these are the six megapixel ones their newest ones that they've released and they sent it to me or sent these to me with the onwoke nvr system now uh look we got some action here i'm just double click on this first This is our main view, high definition. We can zoom in on the wreath. Okay, look, my dad just got home, it looks like, from the store. So let me double click out of this. This will be a good example. So this is one of the uh, on-woke cams. This is six megapixels. Pretty good quality, right? I mean, look at the floors, how they're reflecting from the texture. Now he's going to shut off some of that light with the garage door here. And we don't have, this is a live example here because they are not pan and tilt. So we're getting a free live example here that's happening right at this moment. And look at all the, the shelves back over in the back and stuff. Everything has detail. Corvette, of course, the bikes back here, and let me do a zoom on this. These only have digital zoom enabled right here. If you press this digital zoom, we could go in here. Wow, look at that. There's a motorcycle, an e-bike, paint cans on the shelves here. I just redid my garage lately. I cleaned it all up. Try to organize it pretty good. Still got some stuff I'm trying to get rid of on Marketplace. Here's the Tesla charger over here. And our electrical panels. Corvette wheels. And you should have seen this uh, in the old Amcrest 1080 cameras. It was not as vibrant and clear and crisp as this picture. I'm just so impressed. So that's what you get from this. Now, um, let me see. Garage, I got an example here of a playback. So I'm going to double click. Get out of here. I'm going to go to playback and check my cameras there. And this was on December 3rd. I've got an example. So I'm going to do search. December 3rd on the calendar. And double click into the garage. Make sure you're right here, December 3rd, and at 15.54, we've got an example. So we'll go to 15.54, click on there. And we should have some action here of a playback mode. And what type of quality you should ex expect from the onwote. And this is the, you know, the stationary one here. I didn't see the need for a pan and tilt in my garage. There I come out. Really good quality. Look at digital zoom here. So you can do digital zoom even on the playbacks. And I think I'm just going off to the store here. We can speed this up. Right here is your time lapse speed. Do four times. And there we go. So that was the Onwoke 6 megapixel camera. PoE, power over Ethernet. Now we're going to do the test of the playback mode. This is the front door camera, the Onwoke 4K. Doesn't have auto tracking, but it's a pan and tilt POE, POE camera. And we're going to play back today, earlier today, at around 1330. We're going to perform a playback test here. Make sure we're on, we're not high definition here. Let me change that. That's when I just switched it right before this test to the 13 or 3840 by 2160 HD quality 
and about 13.30 I come out to do the test. Speed this up and we want to put the sound on. You can't put the sound on if you're in any time, anything over one times the speed. So I'll switch this back down to one times and scroll down here, go to press on the speaker. And we got our volume up. I'll turn up the volume on the computer here so we can hear it. And I should be coming out the door here and we'll see how this test looks. Of course, I could do digital zoom as well, but we're going to watch it like this first. I said, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, subscribe. So the the voice was choppy, right? Let's just go back here again. There we go. All right, here. Coming out. We're going to pretend like this paper is a license plate or something. <clears throat> I'm going to pause it. And we could digital zoom like this. TW Home Show, right? And remember, it's digital zoom, right? I'm not optical zooming right here. And I don't think this particular camera has optical zoom. I may be wrong. But we could make that out. If it was a license plate, we could probably make it out. Or probably get a partial plate number. Okay, so now I'm going to go to, where? what time we got? 1331. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to go to the front gate. Go to 1331, change it from standard definition to high definition, and I continue the test right around here, you'll see. See, the sound is choppy, but the digital, auto digital tracking and zooming is really fantastic. Because this is zoomed in by itself. I'm not doing this on screen here. I'm not doing nothing. I don't even have that selected. So I'm going to turn the speaker off. And it's just tracking very well. See how it zoomed in a little bit more as I'm going back further away. And it auto focuses. So that's pretty darn good. I'm really impressed with this camera. Now this camera was, I believe, a little over 300 bucks. Now I'm going to stop that because the test continues on the, uh, the camera in the garage. Double click here. I'm going to go to the garage camera. We'll turn the speaker on. And I should be coming into the garage here next. And you'll see the flickering on the screen. That's because of my neon lights in there, in the garage. It's not the camera. When the lights go out, it's it's a solid view. I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, subscribe. You notice how the sound was crisper there. It might be because less outside noises. You could really hear it a lot better in a room like that. Oh, we're on standard definition. Let me go back. HD. Oh, HD, baby. We didn't have it on HD. Let me go back here. Here we go. Now we're on HD. I didn't switch it. So it's pretty good. It's, it's a little annoying 
maybe I should replace the lights in my garage so I didn't get, don't get that wave effect on the screen when the lights are on. Uh, that definition's still pretty good on that. And if I wanted to, I could just stop that right there. Do a digital zoom. Now I can make it out. So let's move on to the next one. I got one more test right here. We'll go to the back porch. Now this one here is the Onwote Pan and Tilt 4K model right here. Let's go to 1333 or so. Switch this to HD quality. And it should be coming out the door soon. Turn the speaker on. There we go. This is when I let the doggies out. You can kind of hear the voice there. Like I said, I didn't purchase the security system for sound. <laughs> turn that off for now so that is it guys for the quality of those cameras I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something new maybe it helps you make a decision on uh, what type of security camera you want to get or multiple different types like I did depending on the location Get what works for you. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you on the next one.